Hello everybody, this is Budridge and today we, we are going to create custom custom actions in Thunar. And this will be great stuff, cool stuff. Because in the last video I showed you quickly how we could add a, a custom action to change uh, wallpaper. We, we added this uh, set wallpaper action here. Uh, now we will add some really nice actions here that will toggle the layout between yeah let's start with toggle between icons and uh, list so we can press a single hotkey to do this instead of uh, as it is now we need to press uh, control alt shift one and control alt shift two we could, could, with custom actions here, we can create a key binding to only press Ctrl F, for instance, to, to toggle between these layouts. And there are uh, another benefit than just getting rid of one key binding, uh, is that it will also update um, the instance name and stuff, so, so our uh, update FM and things can keep track of what layout we have applied, because uh, if we go into some directory here let's take dot directory yeah now it is messed up here i guess there okay now it is in list view here and we can go into subdirectory it's also list view because that's uh, just as we have defined it here in our in our um, rules file but if we would change the layout here from the menu or with a key binding control shift alt one and change this to icon view uh, if I if I go back here now into the dot directory, this uh, with our uh, update fm here, it tells us that it uh, that it is the right layout list uh, because it doesn't know that we have changed here to icon icon view, and that's another benefit with with the thing we are going to create today that we uh, will update the instance name. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <coughs> We have our action FM script here that just notify send dollar one here. So let's create uh, an action. Configure custom actions. Add one. No. Plus. All right. Uh, toggle layout. Uh, toggle between list view and icon. U command action fm toggle layout no startup notification nothing and we add everything here now to the list because this will be a key binding that doesn't really uh, affect any files it affects the window itself whatever just check everything here okay close uh, let's see if we have it here. Sometimes you need to uh, navigate in the directory tree once to, to get your new uh, new key binding or new custom action appear in this menu. And then we add Control F to this one. And if I press Control F here now, it says toggle layout because that was the argument we we added here to our uh, action FM script. Because my idea here is that we will use Action FM to, to yeah, do different actions for us. We can have one single script and then just pass the argument to what action we want this script to do. Um, but now, just to toggle the layout, we need to do one more thing, and that is uh, add to our update FM here, which now, uh, you know, that, that is uh, pinged from the Python script which sends the window ID, uh, the instance name, and the path to update FM. Uh, the instance name is needed to see what layout is already ap applied. And the path is needed to, uh, to send, the, we send the path to parse rules to get uh, the rule for the new directory that just opened. And then we match the, the old new rule and the new rule and, and see what keys to send and the window ID is needed because we need to know which window to uh, uh, rename and to send the keystrokes to. But if we add here uh, a new command line option um, or 
R for rule. And then we can set new rule is equal to opt arg. And then we add, ah, I already had the rule here. R here, okay, good. Um, and then, because the path is only needed in this command to, to get uh, the rule for the path. But now, if, if we pass a, a, a rule with a command line option, then we don't need to look for, for a path for the, for the directory, and we also don't need the directory either. We just need the rule we want to set for, for the window. So here we can do our good old uh, new rule is equal to new rule, but if new rule is not, not set, then it's equal to the output of parse rules here. So we set the default value for it, for it, which is parse rules with the path. And this means that now it should work here as normal, uh, even if we add this stuff, uh, our update FM still, it doesn't care. If you don't, don't have a rule, then it will just uh, get it from here. But it also means that we can now execute uh, this script from the command line, for instance. But we still need the instance name and the window ID of the window we, we, we want to modify. And we can use i3get for this. i3get uh, and then class thunard. I know is the class name for, the, for this window since it's in, in the D container. If I just execute that we get the container ID. But we can uh, add more stuff here to the output by using the print option i for instance name and d for window id and now we should be able to do update fm uh, and then we say uh, instance name is this whoops did uh, window id is this and our new rule could be list view sort by time descending. And there, it updated automatically. We can we can change this to icon view sort by size descending. Didn't work. Ah, that's right, because now I I should have changed the, the instance name here. Whatever, it, it works. <laughs> we can send this from, from, from the command line. But that means we can also send it from a script. So if we copy this part, there. We don't hard code the instance here. Instead, we use a variable called instance or something and width. And the rule will be our new rule. Okay, so first let's get the instance name and the window ID. And since this action FM, that will always get triggered uh, from custom actions here. Configure, uh, yeah, when we execute it from, from uh, Thunar. And then we can use i3get uh, without any criteria. We don't need to do this class Thunar D. We don't need that since it's always executed from, from, from within Thunar. That will default to the currently active window as a search criteria. We just need the print. And then the print window ID and instance name. And we put the output of this into an array here. Uh, i3 got <laughs> is equal to the output of i3 get. And that means that the first index of i3 got will be the window ID and the second index will be the instance. So we can do with is equal to i3 got zero and instance is equal to i3 got one then we got the instance name we will also need uh, to separate just the rule part of the instance name and that's easy you know old rule is equal to instance but remove everything from the beginning of the line till the first dash um, 
and what we are doing now is toggling between icon view and list view so if the rule looks like this i and i then we want to replace the i with the l but don't but keep the uh, the rest of it because maybe we are sorting by size we still want that we just want to change the the i for the l or the l for the i so that's uh, easy we we do this if old rule uh, contains i then new rule is equal to old rule but replace i with l right or rep replace l God damn it l with i Okay, let's see if this works. You see, it toggles now between. I, I'm just pressing Control F here, and we notify send. The, it just sends the toggle layout uh, argument there. So it works, and that's uh, quite nice. Now we can go into any directory here, Git directory, toggle layout, and it will know that uh, what layout was previously applied. This is great stuff, and this is new for me. I I, I didn't have this set up before, but uh, that th th this is what what I got from um, isolating this update FM into its own script. Then it was this easy to add this. Um, let's see, eleven minutes. Yeah, let's let's add the the other togglers as well because it would be nice to be able to uh, also toggle between sort by name, sort by by time and ascending descending you know and that's uh, really easy to do that as well um, what we do is this case dollar one in then we have toggle uh, layout and we have toggle sort order, toggle sort. So toggle order, we can call one, and toggle sort. Uh, do this, this, we can do this, and ESAC. And then this part is for toggle layout. It should still work here. Control F, toggles layout. But now we can easily add more actions here for toggle order and toggle sort, and they will look almost the same, you know. We can start with toggle uh, order, ascending, descending. So configure custom action uh, plus toggle order uh, action FM toggle order description toggle between uh, ascending descending sort order no startup notification everything here clicked ok ok close and then we can more or less copy this thing here to here but now we change i to A and L to D because that's what we are toggling here uh, and then toggle order I like that as uh, control E and now control E it's hard to see here so we just change to list view and now we should see the uh, ascending descending changing here with control E. It's also, I think I haven't, I, I did it before. I changed the delay here. Maybe five is enough. Let's see. Because sometimes it, it gets a bit weird when the delay is too low. Yeah, I, I, I think eight there is, is like the lowest I can go here. Maybe even 10 on this. I, I, I don't know. You, you have to experiment a bit with this. 
but you'll see when it glitches out. But this, this seems to work. Then we have the sort uh, type also, name, date and size. We could either make it so that it cycles between these three, but in my experience I almost never sort by size. It's always name or time, so I would have it to toggle between these two. And if it is uh, size, then we change the name and date, we also change the name. So, uh, yeah, we could do this in, in, in different ways. Let's do it the simple way here now that we have everything like this, but this time we do this instead. And then we do, because it can be three different things here. It can be T, S, N. And then we change these to T, S, N. Ah, this is not perfect. No, it's okay, it's okay. And if it's sorting by time, then we change it to sort by name, right? And if it's size, we also change to sort by name. But if it's name, we change to sort by time. But now we need to add if and else if step here. Uh, el if, el if. And then we change these to then and add a five there. So only one of these will match here. <laughs> this is okay. We could also use this method and, and, and get get the current sort order and replacing the bash rematch. It, 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 it's maybe cleaner in a way, but I thought what, when we had it here. So now we just need to add that custom action also uh, plus toggle sort description toggle uh, sort by name time command action fm toggle sort check everything here okay close uh, sort order, no, it didn't appear. Sometimes you need to do this, but there we have it. Toggle sort, and I like that on control S. So now we should see here. Hard to see what happens. Control F, control S, changes to sort by name, sort by time, sort by name, sort by time, change ascending, descending. You see, now it's only three buttons here doing what we needed six key bindings originally. But imagine here, you know, when you change sort order in list view, then you also need to go back to icon view, change the sort order, go back to list view. Now we have all that in one key. This, uh, even if it looks a little bit glitchy, it is so much better. In my opinion, uh, great stuff, huh? We'll see what we do in the next Thunar video. I have uh, more things planned, many, many more things planned and cool things we can do with custom actions. I would like to replace, for instance, uh, renaming a file and deleting files and stuff. Oh, yeah, these two commands to start with. But then also moving and stuff. Yeah, there, there are many more, many more Thunar videos in, in, in the pipeline. Have a great day, everybody. See you. Bye.